I'm going to be real with you and I'm going to be honest with you. Whether you like Miss Red or not, whether you watch her shows or not, whether you agree with some of the stuff she does, for whatever reason, I do actually think that when something goes wrong, there's more talk about what Miss Red is going to say and how she's going to react over what the person has done. And I think that puts a lot of pressure on her. Now, I know, I think, in my opinion, she should be ready to take some of that pressure because she is a successful FYP host. And, like, the bigger you get, the more people are going to watch, the more people are going to question you, and the more people are going to want to know, you know, what you're going to say. But I do think that there is a massive, at the moment on TikTok, almost, like, blame game on her if something goes wrong. And I don't think it should be her fault. She's here like everyone else to give an opinion on what she's seeing. She's not there to be pressurized on right or wrong because regardless what you say on the FYP show, there's going to be a side that doesn't like it. Um, So I, I, I do feel sorry for her in that sense. I don't think it's her responsibility to constantly be pressured. Or, or it shouldn't be fair for her to be constantly pressured. What's Miss Red going to say? What's Miss Red going to do? Because she's not the one doing it. Keep that anger on what's Miss Red going to say onto the person who's committed the problem. But am I going to come on here and, because Pearl said, you know, uh, you, you know, you look like a rabbit, Angie said this, fucking this person said that, am I going to sit here and say, and um, talk about every fucking conversation that they have? I ain't doing it. I'm responsible for my actions. Nobody else is. Am I not allowed to? So every person, every fucking person that fucks up on this app, every person that said something, I'm not allowed to be friends with, I'm not allowed to associate with. Well, for that bit, I don't think it's about being friends with or not, but I think it's about pulling them up on the live. Because, yeah, you shouldn't be blamed for other people's actions, but... You should still talk about situations that's going on and give your honest opinion, not a friend opinion. I think that's what people are saying. Like, I know there wasn't a lot shown on the Luke the Judge Chester stuff. That wasn't kind of, that was kind of brushed under the carpet. I think certain topics of Angie sometimes are. Um, however, I don't think it's her fault that these things are happening. But if you're going to present an FYP show, you can't just say they're my friends. So I don't think people are saying you can't be friends, but it's very hard to be friends with people and then have to criticise them on the live in front of sometimes 6,000 people. Where does that leave me? On my own? And everyone that she became friends with, who she was going to get rid of, cut out a circle, she's back friends with and moderates for her. I'm not allowed friends. I'm not doing it anymore. Leave. It's like Evil Queen and Zach are friends, but the other, the other, I think it was like the other week, Zach did something that Evil Queen didn't agree with, and EQ said it straight up on live, like I don't agree with this. What Zach's done, it's not right, and I think that really shows you that they've got enough understanding of each other because they both do very similar things. That it's nothing personal, but it's the name of the game. And if you want to be friends with me, you've got to understand that I will talk about you if I have to. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, I don't go in boxes with people that... You're right, guys. Yeah, she's doing amazing, isn't she? Is a legend. Is an absolute legend. Ah... Uh. I don't really want to put anybody in the box. This was really hard to watch. Uh, it felt like Miss Red when she left TikTok the last time. Very, very like... I don't want to say weak because it's very easy for TikTok to get to people. So weak isn't the right word. But very unstable. And I even dropped a message to her and said, I know it's probably not the person you want to hear from right now, but I just want to check you're okay. Like mentally, because... You know, it's an app and don't let it break you kind of thing. Um, hello, Ems. This was a, this was a hard watch because it, you could see something was getting to her. Now, there must be something that's getting on in her real life. 
that she doesn't like, maybe, or something, she's got her own problems. And maybe that was like the cherry for her, like to make her break down. Um, but I think you've got to be tough to do FYP and she should know, she's done it for such a long time. Um, I don't think it's fair for people to blame her for other people's actions, but I do understand where if you're a very popular FYP show like Miss Red's, where people are waiting to see your opinions, they are going to say, I wonder what Miss Red's saying because you're a talk show host where you're going to give your opinions. Now, does that put pressure on her? Absolutely. But I don't think people mean it in a bad or nasty or vicious way. It's simply that you're very po popular on here. You're very successful and your show is about these things and people want to know what you're going to say. I personally don't think when people say, oh, I wonder what Miss Red is going to say, it's take it should be taken as like an attack. Like, certain things that when Zach has said, people say, I wonder what EQ is going to say. Or when EQ's done something, I wonder what Karma Kaz is going to say. It's just the name of the FYP because people are eager to hear your opinions. That's what the content is. I don't think it's anyone going for her necessarily. I mean, I 100% agree there's certain people she likes in their boxes who slag her off every day. I don't understand it. People like Tori and slag the woman off every day, dressed up at her in her lowest point. I wouldn't let her in my box. So that part I completely understand. But the whole like, um, oh, it's too much pressure because people are like, is Miss Red going to talk about it? Well, that's your content like respectfully and i think people are a little bit upset about certain things being brushed under the carpet because they're your friends and that's the whole reason why she left the first time because all of her friends were causing trouble for her and she tried to back away from them slowly but surely she tried to back away from alex back away from mama kaz back away from pearl because they were her downfall and now what's happened she's brought them all back in and it's like we're watching deja vu the same thing is happening the same breakdown is happening from the same people At the minute, I know there's people waiting for the boxes. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just, I don't want people in the boxes, but all I'm gonna say is like, uh, if I do some art, if it's me. I fell short from it too, you know, like when I was friends with Luke and stuff, I wouldn't want to show certain videos that would, you know, paint him in a bad light or maybe make him angry. I mean, my, you know, and I wouldn't want to show a video that could maybe upset someone. Or, but at the end of the day, I've start, I just realized like it's my FYP show. And if I want to do well, I've got to be completely honest and completely real. It's not Prince Brat FYP reacts to protect others. It's Prince Brat reacts. People are coming here to see what I think. And that's what she needs to understand for her. They go into her show to see what she thinks because they give a damn about her opinion. I personally don't see that as a hate or attack. But I see that as a, as a really good measure of success. Oh, I'll, you know, I'm accountable for But it's like, I just feel like for Miss Red Show again, she's just going back to how it was where she hated it, where all the creators are running the, her own show in her box. I remember when she came back and she only let certain people in there and it was just genuine, normal people who didn't go live, who didn't have many followers, and they just wanted to give their voice. And now I feel like it's gone back to the creators running the Miss Red Show. And... As soon as this has happened, this is the effect it's having on her. I really think she runs a great show when she's in control, but she's letting these people run her show for her again, and it's having an awful effect. Sorry, but I can't be accountable for everybody. I'll be up. It's not fair. Nobody else is held accountable like me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to friends. Yeah, I was glad that she ended the live. It was it was an uncomfortable watch. I hope she's okay mentally. She looked really, really unstable, to be honest. Um, but I do hope that she's okay. I personally feel like it's not actually her that's bringing her down, but certain people she's letting run her show. You know, I don't personally think she's bringing her show down. I think she's letting these people 
her, the Miss Red show was at its peak when it was people with not many followers, it wasn't creators going up in those boxes and it was genuine opinions and people felt comfortable and safe to come up and give their opinions. Notice less and less and less people are going up in those boxes because they're afraid that they're going to get up and be attacked not only by a creator but a creator with a bunch of followers who has a lot of influence. I think she needs to strip it back. I think she needs to go back to what she did best, which was the Miss Red show. Uh, and I think she'll do amazing. I do. I don't think she has a bad show. She has a bad show when she can't control the live because she's allowing other people run her show. I love you, baby. I love you. But I do hope she's okay. I don't think she deserves that, but I think she needs to get used to people saying, I wonder what Miss Red, because it's a very, it's a good sign. People want to know what she thinks because she's very successful at her FYP show. Hello, Auntie Shani. Hello, everyone. Guys, if you can tap that screen, please. Let's get it to 50k taps, please, everybody. Thank you so much. If you haven't done your daily heart me, please do your daily heart me's. Right. Zach the Brat entertains the crowd whilst waiting for Luke to start his live. She fell out. <laughs> this is uh, iconic. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, Luce. Thank you so much. She fell out with me. So I hit up him red. Oh, I took for control, then the click fell apart. We had more faces than Big Ben. The snakes in the grass, we all used to kiss each other's asses too. <laughs> Hopelessly devoted to red. I'll shout when I don't get my own way. I control boxes every day. I'll you and I'll blame everyone else but myself. Anyone else but my own. I gotta say, this is incredible improvisation. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Zach said, um, I'll show you a real song. On the spot. That's some period. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what accountability means. My friend Chester was saying, Please don't contact him. It was horrible to me and toxic. So, as long as everyone sees, I'm the good person I claim to be. <laughs> I'll drag up your past and throw it in your face because I'm Luke. Five foot fuckle, I'm an angry little man When my toxic ways don't go to plan I'll report you all day I'll climb the step ladder to get out <laughs> <laughs> Come on Zach, keep going Hopelessly devoted to chatting pool Looks hopelessly devoted to chat and prove. Wow. That was beautiful. That was incredible. I mean, that was quite emotional. I don't know about you, but I honestly almost shed a few tears there. Get this man, not an Oscar award, that's the acting. A Brit Award. Thank you so much, Louise. That was incredible. Uh, also, very, very true. <laughs> no, that was that was great. That was really, really good. He should do a whole whole freaking 
reactions page on it. He should do a whole reactions page on it. I love that. Hello, Kay. All right. Always the victim, forever the beg. Luna Tuna. They were... Good job that was empty, Luna. Oh, God. They were... The bracelets and the alarms were... Was that a parrot on her head? On a phone line, and I no longer have a phone line because I don't need it. So that's why I have the good old A Amazon friend. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got six of them around the house. <sighs> I do not lie all the time. Bye bye. Why is it people who come in and say things like that and they follow me? I'd rather have 10,000 less followers than have all these trolls. I don't know about you, but she just strikes me as the, such an attention seeker. Like, just... Uh, don't want to be rude, but you know one of those people you just look at and you just think annoying? Like, she's got zero likability. It's very much like, I am above you, you are below me, I've got the camera, listen to me speak, you say nothing, you say anything against me, and you're a bully. She's like, she's like, a, she, re a, she reminds me of a Karen. She gives off Karen vibes. She is... Karen's diner. Thank you for the heart, me Jody. Yeah, victim mentality, hundred percent. What's that bird doing? Yes, get. Oh, I thought I froze. She does give me a lot of joy, yes. Yes, I will, James, yeah. <laughs> Lara Rish, make sure you set it up with a contacts list so that if you've got a list of people saved, um, on your contacts list, you can then phone people in an emergency on your lovely A friend. What is she on about? She is a con, yeah, yes. She's a parrot. What's that thing behind you? So this is Beast of Bodmin, um, Bob, Beast of Bodmin, and that's Charlie Bear, little sister. And they're both Charlie Bear. Her and Bob look the same. <laughs> As... Uh, there's a couple of items in the cabinet still, but only a couple. <laughs> uh, Jamie Lee, I'm not sure I'm letting anyone in the box tonight. I'm not sure how I can cope with the trolling. Um, if you want to ask a question, please ask <laughs> it here. Do you know when these people sit and complain about the trolling? Do you know you don't have to be on the live? Do you know you can click the end button? Do you know you could like FaceTime your friend if you can't take the trolling? It's it's such cringy like manipulation like oh I'm so sad I can't handle the trolling I can't even handle someone in the box like then get off like end your live and go hang out with Bob and whatever the other one's name is and Tuna. Lucy, I'm being attacked for having anything on the wish list. Thank you, Susie. No, I'm not adding more to it because I'm being attacked for having anything on it in the first place. Hey, you should see how many comments I get. Tuna died. How many messages I get. What do you mean? Tuna's right there. You can see her. She was just on her head and now she was on her shoulder. Saying rude stuff about even having a wish list. And you know what? I, the only reason I've got a wish list at the moment is because somebody asked me to make Alessia. one. Alessia. So I'm actually wondering whether I'm just going to delete it. There's more manipulation there. I'm wondering if I'm going to delete it. 
basically she wants everyone to go check it now to order before she takes it down which she's never gonna do this woman is a con man she's a con con artist honestly i thought she was luna and i thought the bird was tuna because everyone says luna tuna i honestly thought it was luna and tuna and you got bob in the background oh my god Epic box battles! Come on! Thank you so much. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.